Hi everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be how to draw a horse. And um, this was requested by Alice and also Isabel requested how to draw a unicorn. So we're doing a two in one lesson today. And um, so here is mine in pencil. You can also do it in marker. And that's Millie's version there. So it is a bit tricky, but we should be able to guide you through. So I'm just gonna pass this camera over to Millie and I am going to get started. I think we're ready now. So you can come over here. So the first thing you want to do is start with the cheek of the horse. So I'm going to, sorry, wrong side of my pen. I'm going to draw like a soft U shape like this. Again, do it with pencil first so that you don't make any mistakes. Then I'm going to go, sorry, then I'm going to draw the bottom of her neck. And then I'm going to draw the top of her neck, which is like a soft curve up to the top of her forehead like this. Then I'm going to go straight down and draw a little indent in the way. And this is just for where her eyes are going little to guidelines. be. Yeah, little guidelines. So the top of her nose, it's like kind of a tilted line like this. So it goes down at one angle and then it breaks down again halfway through. Now don't make this too long or she'll look a little bit out of proportion. And again, as with the Cliffs Moore or anything where you want to make it look really realistic, it's a good idea to have a reference photo so that you can get it right. So the top of her nose, we're going to do a curve in the way like that. And that's going to be where her nostrils are going to start. And then we're going to do her bottom lip, sorry, top lip, and then her bottom lip like this. And then all we need to do is join them up like that. So we've got that done. So we're going to go up onto the top of her head again and we're going to put in her ears. So we were saying her ears are kind of like a little tent and then you have a curved coming down and then you're going to fill that in with shading so that it looks... Make it look realistic. Exactly. And then what we did next was put in her fringe so that you could see where her second ear comes from. So I'm going to do a little bumpy line and then I'm going to give her... A fringe. It's a bit like a sideways C kind of thing. Yeah, she's got a really super cool side fringe going on, this horse. Okay, so then about here, so almost in line with the top of your U that you draw or drew earlier on, we're going to draw our second tent shape. And then the curve in and fill it in. There we go. So she's really starting to look like a horse now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is her eye. So because this eye is over here, you can't really see it. So if you were to draw a line to about here, that's where your eye is going to go. And you're just going to draw a simple lemon shape like this. And then we're going to put some highlights in it. So she looks like she's got lovely glassy eyes, just like this. And then if you put like a few broken lines on the top and the bottom, you can almost see and a little kind of a dotted line coming down here. It's like all the muscles around her eyes. So I'm going to do a same similar type of a broken line down here. And that's the little muscles down there. And then we're going to do her nostril. So her nostril is down here and we're just going to do like a little C shape and fill that in. Looks a bit like a whale with a fin, if you look at it. Does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so that's her pretty much finished. I mean, you can add in little details like what we did on our finished one over here. We added in a little bit of shading on the top of the lip and a comma over here. A bit and the bit at the bottom. And the bit at the bottom as well. So you can pop those in. So if you do kind of like a little line like this, a little bit of shading here and here. She just looks a little bit more realistic. And then you just need to give her some fabulous hair. Um, so you can have her hair really long or you can do it short, whatever type of horsey hair you want. Now, Isabel wants to know how to do a unicorn. That's pretty much a unicorn, Isabel, but it is missing a horn. So if we do a triangle like that and then some little curves all the way down like this. Now you have a unicorn and then you could give her rainbow hair. You could give her extra long horsey eyelashes. Like in this one over here. Yeah, or you could draw in, if she's magical, maybe we could put some stars around her. 
You could even give her Pegasus wings, whatever you want. Okay, guys, enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye.